friends, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to exit from the arrival hall at Sydney Airport and how to then make your way to either public transport or if someone's picking you up here as well. So, let's go through the process of arriving at Sydney Airport and then leaving the International Airport Terminal. After landing and taxiing to the gate, you'll exit the aircraft where there'll be staff waiting to direct you and there's only one direct hallway to follow until you get to duty free shopping. Once you get through duty free, you'll then continue down a hallway until you get to the immigration check area. Before getting into the line, if your passport has an RFID chip, you can go to the RFID chip machines, which you'll need to put your passport into, and they'll then give you a card with a barcode on it. Once you get this barcode, you can make your way to the express immigration check line. At the express immigration check, you will need the barcode which you will then insert into the machine and then a photo is taken of you. Don't forget the barcode as you will then need to keep this with you until you pass through customs. If your passport does not have an RFID chip, you can skip the machines and go directly in line for an immigration check at the counter. This counter is located to the left hand side and you will need your passport as well as your visa. Once you have gone through the immigration checks, you will then make your way down the stairs to get to the baggage carousel. There is a screen directly in front of the stairs which lets you know which carousel your bags will be on and there are trolleys located all throughout the area so if you have lots of bags just take a trolley to the carousel. Try to go to the other side of the carousel as lots of people stay in one area and it is harder to get your bag if you are in the crowd. You will also be given an incoming passenger card when you are flying into Sydney so make sure to fill this out as you will need to provide it when you get to the customs right after the baggage carousel. The card asks questions about your flight, the purpose of your travel, as well as questions about what you are bringing into the country. I'll include a link below to the Australian Customs website for further information. After the baggage carousel, you will then be questioned by border security about what you are bringing and may be required to open your bag based on what items you are bringing. Try to provide clear answers as this will make the process much easier. Once this is finished, you will then exit the area by walking around either side of the furthest wall and once past that, you will go down a ramp to then arrive at either Arrival Exit A or Arrival Exit B. From all my previous flights, I have always exited from Arrivals B, so I will provide you directions from here to get picked up or directions to public transport from here. So, let's get to the directions for all the options for leaving Sydney International Airport. The taxi service is directly outside Arrivals B and there is a clear area to line up to get a taxi. Expect at least one taxi to be there and if you are planning to travel to Sydney City from here, expect it to take around 25 minutes uh, and 40 minutes during peak hour, so that's between 7am to 9am. It generally costs between $50 to $60 one way to the city and you can also pre-book the taxis before you arrive, with more details about this in the link below. Look for workers in high, vis in high visibility vests around the taxi rank who will help direct you as well. If you have booked a car or are looking to rent a car while in Sydney, all the car rentals located at the International Airport are located right next to each other between Arrivals A and Arrivals B. Each has a bright sign and the counters are staffed during airport opening hours. From here, we'll first walk to the rideshare service and then also to the express pickup. This area is currently under construction and so you'll need to take the exact same exit that I am taking. When you get to the traffic lights, wait until the green man to cross the road and if it is a red man, press the buzzer to activate the crossing. You go past a set of escalators as well as a parking pay station before arriving at an intersection to either go to the priority pickup or the express pickup. For the rideshare services, go left towards the green sign. With the rideshare services, if you are planning to travel to Sydney City, expect similar times to taking a taxi, so that's 25 minutes in regular traffic and 40 minutes during peak hour. The cost of this trip is around $40 to $60. If you have a trolley, you can leave it with the other trolleys to be returned by staff. The express pickup area is if you have family or friends who are picking you up. Instead of going left at the intersection, go right towards the yellow sign. As you walk this way, you'll also pass public toilets as well as a valet service. You'll have to cross two sets of traffic lights, so pay attention as they both do not always have pedestrian crossing at the same time. 
Once you cross this, you'll arrive at the express pickup area. There is a 2 minute, 5 minute or 15 minute pickup area and vehicles may be towed from the 2 minute area if they are there for too long. There are trolley bays located here, so try to just return the trolley to the bays once you've finished using them. The next option is if you are using the public buses from Sydney Airport. The buses which stop here are the 420 which either goes to Burwood or to Mascot Station or the N20 which either stops at Town Hall or Riverwood. In addition, there is a limited 400 bus service which travels between Bondi Junction and East Gardens. Now the 420 bus will get you to Mascot Station in 17 minutes during the day and the N20 night bus will get you to Town Hall train station in 30 minutes with an adult bus fare costing between $3 to $6 one way depending on peak and off peak time. You can either get a tap on tap off card called an Opal card or use tap and pay on your credit card or Google Pay or Apple Pay wallets to pay the fare. If you are looking for domestic transfer from Sydney International Airport, instead of turning left to go to the public buses, if you instead go straight through the other sliding doors, you get to the domestic transfer. Buses are on a regular schedule and you'll receive information about when the next bus is from staff who are at the counter. Finally, we come to the train station located at Sydney International Airport. Access is via these sliding doors and if you do have large bags, the elevators are located to the left of the sliding doors. Similar to the public buses, you can get a tap on tap off card called the Opal card or use tap and pay on your credit card or mobile phone. If you go through the sliding doors, you'll go down two sets of escalators before arriving at a set of gates. Use your credit card, phone or Opal card and tap on the area on the right hand side of the gates. If you have large bags, there are wider gates as well to make it easy to get your bag through. Because of an additional gate pass at both international and domestic airport stations, the cost of an adult ticket to the city is $18.79 during peak hour, with it taking 13 minutes to get to the city. If you want to take the bus to Mascot Station, that is taking the 420 bus, and then catch the train from there, it would only cost $3.66, as there is no gate pass fee for any other station. Once you get to the platform, there are real-time updates for the next train as well as how busy each train carriage is. I've shown the details for the train going in the other direction to the city, however the current time, what stations the train is stopped at and how long until the train arrives is clearly displayed on the notice boards for either side. This covers all the main ways to travel from Sydney International Airport. I hope this helps you on your travels to Australia as I know how difficult it is to prepare for a trip overseas. If this video has helped you, don't forget to like it and to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe as your support is really appreciated. Let me know in the comments below if you want further guides around Sydney or want to see other parts of Sydney and I'll be sure to have a video covering that as well. Thanks all for your time and I hope to see you again next time.